You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rudrians for Black and White Sports 2. Well, we're going to talk about Russell Wilson and Sean Payton. Sean Payton has fired a rather playful but interesting shot at Russell Wilson. I mean, we're going to we're going to keep a watch on Sean Payton and Russell Wilson because I think it's going to be an extremely interesting and uh, complicated relationship this season. I think things got the volume got turned up on 10 the moment that Sean Payton said, "No, nah, you're not bringing your entourage into our facility. You're not getting any special treatment versus other players. Whatever you had going on last year is over with. It's going to be my show. I'm running it, and you're not going to get special treatment. Now, we know there was a lot of rumor coming out of out of the Denver Broncos facility. Uh, some teammates evidently weren't too happy with some of the uh, – perks that Russell Wilson was getting around the facility. Well, in case you didn't realize, Russell Wilson did wreck his golf cart uh, recently, and that was not lost on Sean Payton whatsoever. Also, we will get to the fact that they're sniffing around a quarterback in the draft, and some of the comments he made about Jarrett Stenham, which seemed to be very interesting. There are signs that would point you down the road that uh, after this season... Russell Wilson might not be there. It would it would it would land the Broncos with a colossal a colossal dead cap hit, okay? But there's a chance that he goes to the Walmart ownership and look, they just they literally made the 35 million that they would lose on dead cap money and the time it's taken taken for me to record a, exactly 2 minutes of this video. Okay? So they're not going to care, all right? Um, and we're going to get to the absurdity that all of a sudden Will Levis is shooting up the betting ranks to be the number one overall pick in the draft. What? Yeah. Also, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Check us out on podcast. Wherever you get your podcasting from, make sure you go over and subscribe. Peyton, uh, Sean Peyton, that is. Sean Peyton learned a lot. Who is this? Is this Florio? Yeah, it's Florio. Sean Peyton learned a lot from Bill Parcells, among many substantive. <sighs> Sean Peyton learned a lot from Bill Parcells. Substantive football subjects. Peyton also learned how to deliver. A good dig to his players. Does anybody remember when Tony Romo first took over the Dallas Cowboys? And he was having some real success. And Bill Parcells threw out the gym. Let's not get out the anointing oils just yet. (laughs) And it was a way to keep his quarterback grounded. Everybody was really worshiping at the altar of Tony Romo. I happen to be a big Tony Romo fan. Uh, but he wanted to make sure that his quarterback and the media kept themselves in check. It was a great line from Bill Parcells. I'm sure you can find it online. Peyton concluded his recent pre-draft process with a zinger that directed at Russell Wilson, who recently wrecked the golf cart in a bunker. Quote, it's great to see these guys around, Peyton said, regarding the start of the offseason season program. That's right. We heard Russell Wilson is there. He is working hard. Hopefully, we can keep the golf carts upright. So just a little playful jab, but it's also letting you know Sean Payton is paying attention to every little thing that is going on involving his quarterback. In that little quip, Payton underscored the attitude that will permeate the new-look Broncos. No sacred cows, no special treatment, at least not until it's earned. Wilson got special treatment last year, but his performance didn't live up to it. This year, he's just one of the guys. He's subject to the same criticism, same sarcasm as anyone else. 
It's exactly what the Broncos need. It's exactly what Wilson needs. And if and when he plays the way the Broncos expected last year, maybe he'll get special treatment again. Now, I've been pretty vocal about the fact that I think Russell could have a bounce-back season. But will it be a bounce-back season enough to keep his job going after this year? Look, I expect some market improvement versus what he just did last year. I do. But whether or not it's it, it has a franchise quarterback look or it's what Sean Payton wants from a franchise quarterback, that's going to be a different question, okay? Part of me part of me right now and I'll, I'll be honest, part of me believes Sean Payton is already out on Russell. You know, because uh recently we had uh, statements from a, a former Sean Payton player, and I I did a video on it, and now for some reason I can't remember who it was. Oh, it was uh, Keyshawn Johnson, who played under Payton with the Dallas Cowboys, and he just come out and said, Russell's going to have to perform, he's going to have to excel, or he's not going to keep his job under Sean Payton. So, let's get to this, because this is what he said about Jared Stenham. They signed him as supposedly the backup. Okay? But it's clear there's something there that, that, that Sean Payton likes about Jared Stenham. Quote, I think he's young. Okay. But I think he's someone that we had a good grade on coming out. Coming out in the draft, Payton liked him. He liked Patrick Mahomes, too, by the way. Payton said of Stenham, we liked the player. I think he played well in the two starts he had last season. If you study closely... The 49ers game, he's smart at the line of scrimmage. There were a couple of directions, really, with that position. There were a handful of number twos that either I had worked with or felt comfortable with. But in this case, I think it's a number two where his arrow is moving in a direction. And this is a key. Moving in a direction where we feel like he can become an NFL starter in our league. So, the evaluation was pretty crystal clear for all of us, Peyton continued. I think he's someone that's going to be great in the room. He's smart, and so quietly, that was an important signing for us. Very interesting comments indeed, and yet another way to put Russell Wilson on high alert. I think think Peyton expects Russell to excel and he wants an uncomfortableness while Russell is operating day in and day out. Look, you better be on your toes. You better perform or you won't have a job. And he's saying right here, he thinks Jared Stenham could end up being a starter. What does that tell you? That, that also means I think I can work with him enough. He can become a starter. Uh, so now Peter King has come out. And the Broncos, and, and we all know Peter Peter King's an all timer with the um, in NFL journalism, right? Well, he works for NBC Sports now. He used to be with SI back in the day, back in the old days. Uh, but uh, Peter King had just come out and said the Broncos are circling a quarterback in this draft, and they've already pinpointed one. The Denver Broncos may be in the quarterback market. During the upcoming NFL draft, according to NBC Sports' Peter King, after dealing their first and second round picks to Seattle in a trade for Russell Wilson last year, the Broncos' first selections come in the third rounds at 67 and 68. And that's where King expects the organization to possibly take a quarterback, namely Purdue's Aiden O'Connell. King believes the organization will, quote, sniff around the 24-year-old signal caller. Denver has already bolstered the depth behind Wilson, who signed a five-year, $242 million contract that runs through 2028. My God, there's some bad quarterback contracts. The organization acquired Jared Stenham, one of the better backups in the league, and earlier this offseason on March 13. But we may be looking at a younger option to learn under the veterans. 
O'Connell earned a second team all Big Ten honors the last two seasons after leading the program to back-to-back bowl appearances. Last season, he passed for thirty, basically 3,500 yards, 22 TDs, 13 picks. O'Connell is ranked as the 11th best signal caller in the draft, according to the uh, Bleacher Report's NFL scouting department, Big Board. Wilson's first season in Denver was less than ideal. As the Broncos struggled mightily on offense, they finished dead last in the league in points with 16.9, and Wilson completing a career-worst 60.5% of his attempts for 3,500 yards, 16 TDs, 11 interceptions. So, do you notice that's a lot of fire around other quarterbacks not named Russell Wilson for the Denver Broncos? That's pretty crazy. I, I, I That is pretty crazy to me because I think that tells you right there, Sean Payton, if Russell Wilson doesn't, for lack of a better way of putting it, go out and show his ass, I don't think Sean Payton's going to hesitate to bench Russell Wilson. I, I just don't believe it. I think he will bench him and see what he's got with Stenham. And there is a key here. Peter King is saying, look, the Broncos have no first-round pick, no second-round pick. They got two-thirds, and one of them, they're thinking about drafting a quarterback. What does that tell you? And look, there have been some quarterbacks become starters out of the third round. Wasn't Russell Wilson a third-round pick out of, West, out of Wisconsin? I don't know. I'm I'm just saying, I'm almost certain he was. Yeah. Peace. I'm out. Make sure you hit subscribe till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.